old uh, merchant vessel Sakarissa has actually been moved over to Diversified Marine. Two ships that sunk in the Columbia River are finally being removed with the help of the Coast Guard and other state agencies. The 100-foot military tug Sakarissa has already been removed from the river. The 125-foot former Coast Guard Cutter Alert is up next. The Coast Guard says it should be completely lifted out of the water in the next week. Uh, the plans are to, to lift that up out of the water, inspect the hull, get, get that, whether it's towed to Diversified Marine or we get a floating dry dock to move it over there. The two ships got to Portland in 2006 after sitting off Hayden Island for more than a decade. Both ships sunk last year. Officials have removed thousands of gallons of diesel fuel and oily waste throughout the process. The Oregon Department of State Lands is also working with the Coast Guard. Officials say people were living on the ships. They were not sinking on their own and the and the actual, uh, we know actually from the, the Sakarissa because it had been raised and, we, and, and when the Coast Guard raises it then they patch holes so they can float it and tow it and that one actually sank because someone who was salvaging on the vessel cut through a, a pipe. Ryan says he's not sure why the alert sank but both ships sank before any coordinated effort was put together to tow them away. Finally it's happening. The process has been costly. Right now we're sitting at about 1.25 million dollars uh, for the the cleanup effort part of it and getting it to diversified marine. And again, the Coast Guard does expect the alert to be gone within the next week, but that could change if there's any issues with the removal.